Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to connect accelerometer MPU6050 with ESP32 and then visualize the sensor data in 3D using an application developed using Qt framework for Windows and Android. As you can see, the cube on Windows application and Android application positions itself based on the values received from the accelerometer sensor, both applications look similar because they both are developed using Qt. In this video, I will show you how to develop a Windows application in Qt, and in the next video, I will show you how to develop an Android application using Qt. But before proceeding further, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. With more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication, they are committed to meeting the needs of their customers from different different industries in terms of the quality, delivery, cost effectiveness, and any other demanding requests. They are one of the most experienced PCB manufacturers in the world. I hope my video's viewers will visit their website at least once to show their offerings. So, now let's get started. You can connect your ESP32 with MPU6050 module as shown in the picture. The next step is to select the correct ESP32 device which you are using, and after this, the we have to select the correct communication port, which is COM9 in my case. Now, I will install the library which helps us to get the data from the MPU6050 module. I have installed the MPU6050 Lite library, because this library gives us the roll and pitch value directly. You can use any other library of your choice, but make sure to only transmit the roll and pitch values over serial port and Bluetooth. The Arduino program is really simple, thanks to the MPU6050 Lite library, which hides all the complex stuff inside it. And then at last I will compile and upload the program to just show you guys the data which we will receive over the serial port, and the same data we will receive over Bluetooth communication. Why the first value is the roll value, and then next value after comma is the pitch value. We will use these values in our QT application to visualize a cube in 3D. Now, let's start with the development of the QT application. Here I will develop a QML application which has a smartphone-like user interface. This is done intentionally to make the user interface look similar when deploying the application on Android phone. EIO can follow the screen whatever I am doing, and in case you just want the source code, please check the links in the description of the page. As a first step, I will add a new queue object class to our project, which is named as Serial Manager. This Serial Manager class will connect with my ESP32 module and get the roll and pitch values from it, and later this class will send a signal to the QML front end to display these values on a label and also change the cube position based on these values. Now, include the Qt serial header files, and since this is a C make base project, we need to include the serial packages and also link the libraries with our project in the cmakelists.txt file. I will not narrate the whole steps, instead of that I will annotate the important points, and you guys can just follow the video for steps. Here, I am creating some private members like mserial, which will be used to connect with ESP32 and get the role and pitch values. Here, I am configuring the serial object with the information such as baud rate, data bits parity, communication port name and others. Here, serial port is opened in read and write mode, and if this is successful then ready read signal is connected to our serial manager class signal with the same name. This ready read slot should be a public slot. and in this slot, we can write our logic to receive the data from ESP32 and parse this message to extract the role and pitch information.
The next step is to register the serial manager class so that the QML front end has access to it. Now, we can use this serial manager class inside the QML code, and once we use it in the QML code, the serial manager class constructor will be called, and communication channel will be opened, and we will start receiving the data, as can be seen in the application output tab. Now let's develop the front end in QML, and once this is done, we can link the values from C++ class with the QML front end. Here I am creating a node, which contains a 3D model, I am using a QTN built cube 3D model, but if you want you can use your 3D models and link them here. We can position the model using the position property, and similarly scaling can be done using the scale property. View 3D is used to visualize the model present inside the node. This looks fine, but we can enhance this on two aspects, one is to change the text color to white, as black on black is not visible properly, and the another we can beautify our cube a little, by inserting an image on top of cube.
And, this looks much better, and now we are good to proceed further with our last step. I will use Q property macro to get the role and pitch values in QML. Whenever the role and pitch values are changed a signal is emitted, and corresponding to that, QML slot is called, where we get the role and pitch values to update the Euler rotation angles. This looks fine and working well. The source code can be downloaded from the links given in the description of this video. If you like this video, press the like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel.